Hey guys, it's Ren from Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see this look, my Kendra inspired makeup tutorial for blue or gray eyes, stay tuned for more. Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video, and today is a tutorial, and I'm doing this look for you guys. And I was actually inspired by um, a picture of a celebrity that I saw. As I was doing my daily gossip read on PerezHilton.com, I came across this picture of Kendra. And you guys probably know who she is. She's a former um, Girls Next Door, girlfriend of Hugh Hefner. She now has her own reality show on E! And she is um, blonde bombshell. And she actually has like blue eyes. Um, and I've been thinking, trying to think of a tutorial to do for like blue or gray eyes because I got these contacts recently. And I know that with like blue eyes, you want to do something with red tones in it, like a red rust cranberry type deal. So makeup um, on this picture, in Kendra's picture, she definitely has like her eyes popping because I used a warm reddish rust color here. So I thought that would be good for um, those of you out there who love Kendra or who who have blue or gray eyes for me to do a really wearable, like kind of smoky look. And you don't have to have blue or gray eyes. You can have any color eyes to pull this off. So it's really easy and I use pretty much all MAC eyeshadows, really dupable colors and then I went for a pink cheek and a pink lip. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I did this and today I'll be testing out some of my new Sigma Premium brushes. So. Um, you can take a look and see how those perform, and I'll have a detailed review on them later. But I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm going to do this eye right here first. And we're going to start by priming with Stilo Eyeshadow Base in Medium. Okay, and then I'm going to take an all-over lid color. This is a MAC Vanilla and the SS227 and just get that over the entire lid, especially on the brow bone. Okay, so now we're gonna place the lid color on. I'm using MAC All That Glitters, really pretty color, and the SS239, and just gonna pack it on. And now we're going to do um, the contour color. I'm going to use a combination of Antiqued and Glamour Check from MAC. Um, I picked these out because they're kind of like rust tones and they're going to make the color eye color pop. So I'm using the SS217 and I'm just going to carve out that outer V and the crease. And this is where you can blend out the lines. Take that same SS227 and just kind of go over the edges and they'll automatically buff it out for you. And then pop on a little bit more of that reddish brown. I'm doing a tapping motion because I'm just trying to deposit color. I'm not really trying to bring it anywhere else. And then I'm going to take another blending brush, the SS224, and take a little bit of Shroom from MAC, really pretty highlight color. And I'm using this brush because I really want to seamlessly blend into the brown. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and line the top with black eyeliner. This is Urban Decay Zero. And then you're gonna wing out the end. Okay, so now you're gonna take your pencil brush, the SS219, and a little bit of black eyeshadow using Max Carbon. And I'm just going to almost smudge that outer wing and bring it into the little outer V portion as well. Ok, 
Okay, then I'm gonna just reapply a little bit of the liner that got lost. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the reddish brown color with the SS217. Just patting it on. Then if you need to clean up the edges, just take a Q-tip. And then I'm going to touch up my eyebrow because the end kind of got faded. So I'm just using MAC Brow Pencil and Lingering to kind of extend the tail back out. And then we're going to move to the bottom. I'm going to use the um, same pencil and get my waterline. And then I'm going to um, bring it onto the lower lash line on the outer half to thicken it up and connect it to that little wing that was there before. Then you're going to take a smudgy brush. I'm going to use the SS214 and get a little bit of the black shadow and then really smoke it out. Keeping it thicker at the outer edges. anything that you don't like. And then I'm going to take another um, liner brush. This is the SS212 flat liner brush. And I'm going to clean it off and get a little bit of the um, reddish brown we used and pop it on the inside. and then blend it under. Okay. So I'm gonna pop on some lashes. These are our Del Wispies, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done. Now let's move on to the face. I already primed with Max Prep and Prime, and now I'm going to apply concealer. For under the eyes, I'm gonna go for Ben Nye's Neutralizer Cream Crayon in Medium. And I'm just going to get it under here. And then I'm going to blend it out. I'm just going to use this SS192. And I'm just blend it out. And if I want to cover up any other areas with concealer, I'm going to take my Gemma Kid Concealer Duo and get the darker side and just kind of tap it over areas that I want to cover. So let's do foundation. I'm going to use MAC Studio Sculpt and um, NW35 and I'm going to apply it with the uh, Sigma SS190. I know the name is changing on that, so I think it's the F80. So I have been using this foundation brush nonstop um, for the last couple of weeks just because it works so well. I haven't really shown it in a video, so that's why I'm gonna actually do it this time. But I use it a lot with my MAC Studio Tech because it really buffs it in well. Today I'm using it with um, Studio Sculpt because it works with um, liquid as well. And it just really buffs it in so you don't get any lines, and it almost looks like a second skin. I'm gonna set with um, Graftobium Face Powder and Light. Just gonna use a fluffy brush, the um, SS138, and set it. Next, I'm going to um, apply a contour using Gemma Kids Bronze Perfection Bronzer and SS168, SS165, and then I'm just going to contour. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put some blush on. Kendra has a very bright pink blush on, and I'm going to use Mac Shy Beauty Power Blush to pack it on. I'm going to use the SS129 and really get that on the cheeks, especially the apples right here, and then going up. And then to kind of blend it out for a highlight, I'm using Senna's Glisten Rose Powder, which is a shimmery pink, which is going to give it a nice highlight and fade. So now for the um, lips, we're going for pink again with the pink um, base and the pink gloss. So I'm going to go with um, Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC. and. I'm gonna fill in my entire lip. So I have like a pink colored lip. Now for gloss, I'm gonna take a pink gloss and go on top. This is the Senna Zest Lip Lacquer. And I'm gonna put it right on top. And that's it, that's the final look. Um, we got like a coppery, smoky eye that really brings out the colors of the eye, especially if you have blue eyes or gray blue eyes. And then a pink cheek and a pink lip. And then that's my Kendra inspired makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, check out all of the pictures and the products used on my blog at makeupbyrenren.com. You can find the link to where I got these um, contact lenses in the description box below. So I hope you guys have a great night and until next time, ciao bellas.